So what is tech debt? I do not feel that the widespread financial debt metaphor of tech debt is useful because it doesn't tell you what to do about it. I think it causes problems in the way people, their mindset around it. Uh, if you think of it like debt, you know, a real debt, uh, you have an obligation to pay it, usually a contract, it would be fraud not to pay it, which is not true <laughs> for, for technical debt. I think there's a lot of things that could be, I would classify as technical debt that I don't think you should do anything about. And the other thing is this idea that it came from this shortcut that you took, and that was a bad thing that you did. And now you, you, now you owe this debt back because of this intentional thing that you did and you knew you were going to have to do it, take care of it later. I don't think of, of tech debt as like that at all. I think a lot of it just happens because the world changes. If you have a code base that's long lived, frameworks change, languages change, technologies change, and they can render code base into debt without you having done anything that anyone would consider a bad engineering practice. So what I like to do is I think of it as swimming upstream. That's the metaphor that the book, the book title is trying to uh, give you. And the one that I think is more useful, it's useful in two ways. One, when you're in a code base and it's got a lot of technical debt, you're kind of surrounded by this resistance that's stopping you from make, making progress on where you're trying to go. So you have a roadmap that you have to implement and the code base is resisting you from doing that, causing mostly developer productivity problems. And it's an internal to you. And the second thing that you get with this metaphor is that anyone outside of the code base, anyone who's not spending time in the code base kind of doesn't understand it. And when they look at you, they just see you as being slow. And they don't, and no matter how you try to explain it, if you're not in the water, if you're not feeling the resistance, you're not totally going to get it. Uh, so using the, that definition, I have gone in lots of different directions in the book to kind of like give you ways to use that, to find the tech debt, to deal with it and to find strategies for explaining it to the rest of the business, your managers and so forth.